Jerry Pauley Gunn up there, a good friend of mine, Kevin, and uh, he uh, turkey hunted with me last year and everything, I really enjoyed it. And I went in there to look and see what he had. Uh, he had this old bird there on the shelf there, and we got looking at it, talking about it, and he said, well, I'll tell you what, he said, won't you take that bird out there and see what you can do with it, but I uh, hadn't had time to put him in the field in the woods yet, but uh, We've been messing around with him here a little bit at the house and uh, doing some demo with him and everything. And uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna show y'all what this thing here does there. And, but uh, we ain't got him out to the woods yet. We're gonna get him out there pretty quick and see what them old birds do to him. But I think he's gonna do fine here. So we're just gonna give him a quick little old call here and see what he does. Uh, front porch. I've been having a lot of fun with him. Neighbors drive up and down the road and, and they, they called me up. They said, man, did you see that big old gobbler in your front yard? And I said, yeah, he comes by there once in a while, but uh, i tell you what, he's coming back in town there. Let's shut this old boy off here. I'll wait for another car to come by. They'll call me after a while. So. We're coming back in town there on the old dirt road down there and I drive along there in the old turnip truck and I looked over in the ditch bottom. I seen this big old glass bowl. Didn't know what it was. It looked like it's a light shade. We don't know what it was. Well, ain't nobody know. It might have fell out. Of, might have fell out out of space. We don't know where that thing come from. Ain't got no markings on it. And it was like a big old lamp shade. Could be a solid bowl. We don't know. But I got the monkey with it. And I put it up in the old turnip truck, and it kind of hit an old spare tire. And it, you hear that ring right there? thing made a little sound. I said, man, that's pretty neat there. So I just, I've been monkeying around with it here at the house and kind of got me an old stick and put me a rubber ball on it where I could make me a, a bone thing on it. And I just kept monkeying with it. And, and uh, this is what I came up with. I, I got the monkey with it here and this is what I found. two coyotes. I mean, they come in wide open. They come all the way up to most of my front porch to this thing here, and I don't know. I guess that sound, what it did, but it worked. I did it a couple more times, and, and I'm telling you, them coyotes come to that thing right there. And, but anyway, that's just something I found, and I just want to show it to y'all and share it with you. But uh, that's a guaranteed coyote puller right there and everything, so... Uh, that's about all I got today. We got some more stuff coming. Uh, fix to go out on the side here. We're working on our big old barbecue chuck wagon. We're gonna got a little bit more work to do on it. Got to put some more air in the tires. We can go do a little barbecuing up the road there. So there's some people's house up there. And so uh, that's what we're working on right now. So uh, y'all uh, stay tuned and uh, like I said we're going to have this thing in the field we're going to see what them big gobblers are either going to like it or they ain't going to like it but I think they're going to like it so uh, but uh, we're going we're gonna to have a video on that we're going to show you what this thing will do so uh, y'all stay tuned and uh, just keep keep watching this we're going to have different shows and a lot more coming and uh, so y'all y'all just hang in there and uh, like I said, on this bird right here, if you can't find it, you look me up and I'll hook you up with Kevin and he'll hook you up on that bird right there and get you out there where you can get you a good gobbler. So we'll see y'all next time from Timbuktu.